Hey everybody, I just got in the new Senna 50R. So I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of this as well as setting it up in my helmet. I'm going on for a quick ride and seeing how it sounds and everything like that. So I picked this one over the Bold system, the Cardo Bold system that you see everywhere just because it's about the same price point and it has a few more features that I was looking for over it. So it has USB-C, I already use that cable for all my devices. And then on top of that, it seems like it's a much slimmer package, so it doesn't stick outside your helmet a whole lot more. And it does have the mesh networking that the Cardo Bolt system touts is one of the best parts about it. So to me, it seemed like a better purchase. Uh, I don't have that one to compare. I've never used that one before, uh, but this is my first system. So I'd rather spend money on one that just came out a few months ago versus one that's a year and a half old or however old the uh, Cardo system is. So either way, if you are looking into getting this system or you just want to know more about it, keep watching and I'll show you what I found out. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. It's a pretty small box. And there it is, right there, front and center. Oh yeah, that's pretty slim. So it's not very, not very wide at all. It doesn't stick out very much. So that'll be pretty nice. I'll just show you some of it here. So yeah, like I was saying, USB-C, that's a, it sounds dumb, but it's a huge benefit to me. Nobody should be using micro USB anymore with devices. Um, just a whole nother cable to deal with. So let's see what else is in here. All right, that's a whole lot of stuff. And it's probably just the manual, I assume. Yeah, and then just the manual for it. I'm gonna be going, I'm gonna install this on my helmet. It's the, I have the AGV K6 helmet. So if you have the same helmet, it's something good to know, but it should be generally the same for, for every helmet. Let's see the speakers, mounts to push it out further. Here's the main clip that's gonna go um, on the side of your helmet, which is also pretty slim too. So here, let me get this out so you can see it better. So these two combined, it's still pretty slim overall. And then it has the uh, little antenna here if you need to stick it out. So it has the antenna here too, if you need to get better range. But overall, it's still pretty slim. Um, seems like a really slim system here. These seem like they're gonna be pretty easy to get to with the gloved hand. Um, it's got this button on the back here. So I'm not sure what all this stuff does yet. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed on my helmet and show you some of the steps for that as well. All right, so for installing, the first step you're just gonna wanna actually use your, basically mount the main unit on. You should just be able to slide this in. So it has this little clip here. Um, and this part, you just wanna slide it in the side of your helmet. Yeah, it definitely is it's pretty hard to get on there, so I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. There we go. Should be something like that. Just make sure it, it fits all the way up in there that as far as you can get it up on there. And the next step is just gonna be setting up the, uh, the speakers and the mic. So just like most of these, you're gonna have a couple different options. You have the, the boom mic if you're gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that. I could see that more so on like a, a modular helmet or something like that. And then for the boom mic, you should have like some windscreen stuff in here as well. So you can set it up that way if you want. I'm gonna be just using the smaller mic so I can mount it in there, pretty slim. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then obviously the speakers are gonna be the same either way. So this may be something you wanna try out here. It looks like it has these little pads to rise out the speakers a little bit further. That'll probably make the sound better because it'll be closer to your ears. So I may actually end up using those. So a lot of different options here. Um, this will be the mounts for the speakers and it has the uh, 3M sticky on the other side, the double side tape. So you wanna put those in first and then attach the speakers to them. And then the mic itself, um, you're gonna wanna do as well. So you'll wanna go ahead and if you have this, the emergency thing, you can pull this out, get more room in there. There we go, okay. With that out of the way, uh, we should have much more room to work with in here. Most modern helmets have it here, but um, you can probably see it has this indent for the speakers and as well as a cable route. This will be perfect. I shouldn't have to do a whole lot. Just put the, the sticky tape inside here. If not, you might have to find some other options for, for mounting it in there. I'm just gonna take off the sticky tape here. It's pretty straightforward. You just, yeah, just take this and then fit it into the little speaker hole if you have it. Obviously press down on it, make sure it's adhered in there really well. And then just do the same thing for the other side. So put the other sticker tape in there. They do go opposite ways. So just make sure whichever one you have is gonna work better for whichever side you're on. But yeah, just stick it in there. And once again, if you have something easy like mine where it just has the wires already set up, it's pretty straightforward. You just kind of follow the line here. 
and then just do the same thing for the other side. So mount the speaker on the other side. So for the mic, uh, same kind of thing. You're just going to want to get some of the 3M adhesive. There's a couple different ones. I'm just going to use this one. And all you have to do is pretty much just think about where's your, where's your mouth at. So if you're talking, you're going to hear it well. So pretty much anywhere in this spot, um, you might not want to have it directly on, but maybe off to a side if you, if you prefer it that way. That's what I'm going to do on mine. So just get your adhesive, go ahead and attach it. And from here, you're basically just connecting all these cables. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the speakers. And then after that, you'll be able to kind of, um, clean up the wires as you need to tuck them through and all that kind of stuff and put all your padding back on. So obviously the longer one goes to the other side. And then uh, the mic one should already be hooked up if you're falling the same way as I was. So then you just stick that on there. It's pretty slim, shouldn't be getting in the way of anything. Once you pretty much have everything hooked up, you honestly, you probably wanna grab some like electrical tape, some black electrical tape. Even, even my helmet, it has some, some spots to kind of route the cables down into, but they're so loose and everything that it's, it's pretty much just gonna keep coming apart. I'm gonna tape some stuff down with it get it all cleaned up and then put all the padding back in. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with that. You definitely want some tape, um, helped out quite a bit with tucking everything back. I taped down the microphone cable, speaker cable, kind of just kind of all tucked away. So it has those vents at the top and I just put the cables kind of under that so that way I can still get good venting. But yeah, taping it down, um, it's gonna help quite a bit just keeping it organized and neat in there and keep everything from getting pinched down. So I'm gonna put the padding back in and just kind of do the final cleanup of all the cables. And so when you're putting in this, just obvious, it's, it's gonna be pretty obvious, but just be careful about the where that's getting pinched, especially when it comes to this side over here. So just make sure that you're given enough room for this cable to kind of move around freely without it getting all pinched down and everything. I've seen some people take this main cable and kind of shove it in this corner here. Um, I'm actually gonna probably just cut a little notch in this just so it slides through better and I can keep them all tucked away still. So if you're gonna go that route, um, just get everything snapped in and kind of line up right where it's about to uh, hit that wire. And then you could just maybe mark that with the pencil or pen or something like that and then just cut out a little notch. Um, since it's gonna be sharp, I'm gonna cover it with some electrical tape too. So it's gonna be about right there. So you just do something like that, just mark it, just bend it back so you can cut it out. You do something like that, just make sure you cover those sharp edges and that should allow you to put it in there without it. Yeah, so then it just slides right over it. Uh, you should be able to get your seal back on properly and just have a little bit of a, obviously you're gonna have some sticking out here just from the cable. So that's it as far as the installation goes. Just put your clip back in and then mount your center to it. Okay, so once you're ready, you just power it on by pressing these two buttons together. And then you're going to hold the center button for about 10 seconds. And then once you hear it say configuration menu, you just press the plus button once. And it'll even, you can hear it says phone pairing. Okay. And then it shows up on my app as Senna 50R, pretty easy to find. Once you get connected to it, let's see what the app will say. So it did pair successfully, pretty easy to do. Just asked you to name it. And that's pretty much it. So the app is pretty cool too. It'll, it'll show you uh, battery percentage. So it's at 98% now. It tells you firmware version, remaining time, um, and all of course, all the different settings that you can set up on here as well. All right, so I just got it finished. Here's how it looks on the uh, side of the helmet. It's not too bad. It doesn't stick out a whole lot there. And nice and clean. In my opinion, it looks a little bit better than the bold. Doesn't stick out as much from what I can tell. Um, Insulation went pretty good. The, the only thing I would say that it's gonna take some time is just getting the cables routed properly. Every helmet's gonna be different, um, but I did have to use quite a bit of uh, like the electrical tape to kind of hold down some of the wires and stuff like that. I did do a test run, just listen to some music with it. Seems like it works pretty good. Uh, the speakers aren't super loud in my opinion, even when I blasted them all the way. So I do think it might be a little hard to hear once you get going at highway speeds. So I may experiment with those little riser pads that comes with it, but um, I'm gonna go on some rides and test it out and give it some some more, uh, some more runtime on it and see how that goes. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the quick unboxing and just kind of how it looks on a helmet, especially if you have a similar one to me, the AGV K6. Um, it doesn't stick out a whole lot there. 
and looks pretty clean. And I played around with these buttons too, not with a gloved hand, but it's pretty easy to mess around with without having too much difficulty. So either way, guys, if it's something that you're looking into, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys found some, some good use in it. And uh, if you want to find out more about this one, I'm going to probably do a review video after I get some more time with it. Brand new, so I don't really want to post anything that's a review yet because I can't really say much about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and stay tuned for some more videos like this. Thank you.